it's a, a comical thing to me in a way, and I don't mean to be offensive, how I've heard in a number of occasions, and I used to believe it myself because I've heard it so much, that when we die, that is in the resurrection, when we get our new bodies, that we'll be like the angels and we'll have wings. I even remember hearing a song saying, I'll fly away one glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away. I don't want to get into too much of the fly away thing, but what I do want to talk about, what I'm going to answer the question is, will we actually have wings in the resurrection, in the regeneration, in the next life? Will we have wings? Now, first of all, the only time that we hear about wings are on angels themselves. And it's necessary to understand that there are three different categories or types of angels that the Bible talks about. And they are cherubim. And we basically hear about cherubim. The very first time we hear about cherubim is in the Garden of Eden to keep Adam and Eve and their descendants out of the Garden of Eden to protect it, to protect the tree of life. That's the first time we hear about cherubim. We hear about them in Genesis. Then again, we hear about them in the book of Exodus when uh, Moses is told to make the tabernacle according to the fashion of God. And those particular cherubim that we see over the Ark of the Covenant, which we cannot get into right now, but those particular cherubim, we see them there, they have two wings. They have one pair of wings. Then in the book of Ezekiel, we hear extensively, a lot of stuff about cherubim, Ezekiel chapter one, especially one in chapter 10. We see a lot about cherubim there. And those particular cherubim associated with uh, God's chariot throne. Again, we don't have time to get into that. But those particular cherubim have four wings. That is, they have two pair of wings. And then we hear about it again, I think a dibble dabble in the book of Psalm. We hear about it in first Kings and we hear about it in first Chronicles. These are the cherubim that I'm noted, noted in the scripture. So with respect to the cherubim, we see that there are cherubim with, according to the depiction in the Ark of the Covenant, that is, we see talked about in the tabernacle and the temple, uh, one pair of wings. They only have two pair of wings. And then again, we see associated with the chariot of God. That's in the book of Ezekiel again. They have uh, two sets of pairs. So they have four wings. So the first uh, set of angels that we see with wings are cherubims, and they are the highest order of angels. Then the next highest order of angels are the seraphim, which literally means burning one. Now we see a depiction of these particular angelic creatures in the book of Isaiah chapter six in the commission and call of Isaiah. And there he talked about those particular angels, seraphim, and they have six wings. That is three pair of wings. And I don't think the seraphim are really talked about anymore in the scriptures. And now finally, the most common angel that we see are the messenger angels. And these are the ones we see making the appearances to mankind for the most part, except for in vision like Ezekiel. These are the ones that make the most common appearances unto mankind. You see them in both the Old Testament, remember Manoah's wife, and we saw the angel appeared unto her. There is no indication that that angel had wings. And then even again in the New Testament, we see angelic appearances at certain unique occasions. And there is no, remember like when Peter was in jail, there was no indication of that creature having wings. But nevertheless, the third order of angels are messenger angels and they appear normally as men and they have no wings at all. So the Three different types of angels, the highest order of angel, the cherubs, plural cherubim, having two or four wings, the seraphs or plural seraphim, having six wings and the messenger angels having no wings. And we also know that it's Michael who is the chief of the messenger angel. So first of all, we will not all have wings like the angels. Why? All angels don't have wings. 
And second of all, and most important, when we look in the scripture, especially 1 Corinthians chapter 15, when it talks about the resurrected body, as well as any other New Testament or even Old Testament passage, there is never any mention in the regeneration, that is the resurrection of humanity, that we will ever have wings. And also, I think the most important thing of all, God did not create us to be angels. He created us to be men, men from the very beginning, sons of Adam. And when we resurrect from the dead, we will still be men. We will not resurrect and turn into creatures that God never intended us to be in the first place. So to answer the question, when we resurrect from the dead in the next life, will we have wings? Nah, <laughs> I don't think so at all. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. I'll